Some people feel that simply by attending a church they become a saint. But who can truly be called a saint? What is the definition of sainthood? First of all, a saint is one who loves God. Not everybody who goes to church loves God. I've encountered many Protestants who will declare with great vigor, why, we're all saints. What makes them saints? The fact that they've signed on the dotted line and say we're members of the Methodist Church or something? No, that doesn't make you a true saint. The Catholic Church has much, it comes much closer to the truth because it does recognize that people can commune with God. But the Catholic Church, they claim credit for the saints that have come out of their church, and in a way they deserve it. They deserve the credit because they persecuted them so much that in their persecution they made them saints. But I say that somewhat tongue-in-cheek, because in fact a saint is somebody inwardly who loves God. Whether he goes to church or not, it doesn't matter. It's always good to be with people who love God, but most people in church don't love God. They're just there to sort of show off their Sunday, Sunday finery. If you can be with a group of people who meditate and commune and seek to seek and do love God in, in their lives, that can be a great upliftment. That kind of church I heartily recommend. That kind of church I myself have founded Yogananda founded. But uh, <clears throat> a saint is, in, the, in any case, not something produced by a church. It is produced by God. Nobody can make himself a saint. But it's sort of like the sunlight on the side of a building. If the curtains are drawn shut, the sun won't be able to enter a room. The sun will be there, but it won't be able to come in. So you have to open the curtains. And we have to get rid of those obstructions in our minds that keep the sunshine of grace from entering our lives. The curtains of selfishness, anger, greed, lust, all the various sins that human flesh is heir to. We must understand that when we can do our part and just open ourselves fully to God, he is the one who determines who makes us saints. But we can be sure that he makes us saints not because he likes the color of our eyes, but because we're open to him. He will come to the worst sinner who deeply meditates and seeks to love him and finally gives himself completely to God. But a saint is one not only who loves God, but who has been received by God because of his love.